Y'all, this isn't even all of my shoes. Hey y'all, it's Lauren Kennedy and welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see, I have so many shoes and I might divide this up into a part two. But today I have my shoe collection 2023. This is my first shoe collection, I think, on my channel. Don't quote me on that. Y'all, I love sneakers. I love sneakers, clothes, fashion. Sometimes I feel like I have too many shoes, but like, I feel like you can't have too many shoes. I might not wear them all all the time, but they all do get worn. I decided to kind of break them up into categories and I wrote them on the sticky notes. So we're gonna start with Jordan to Yeezy, New Balance, Nike, Converse, and then I might include my Uggs, I don't know yet. And y'all, the crazy thing is, all of my shoes aren't even here from school. I'm missing two pair of dunks, which are the pink ones. I don't know which ones those are called, but the pink ones and the bright orange ones. That's so bad that I don't know the name of them, but I'm going to put a picture of them up in there. But I left those at school because I don't really wear like low dunks in the winter time. So I just kind of gave them a break. So let's start with... Jordans. I only wear fours. I used to wear like 11s, 3s, all of that. But I feel like fours match my aesthetic. And by that, I mean like, I don't know. I feel like I always crease Jordans. And I just don't think they fit right. I'm very tall. I'm a very tall girl. So I just kind of feel like they fit me a little bit better in terms of the other shoe models. But I might have to branch out and try some other ones. But just for size reference, I wear a men's size 8, which is a women's 9, 9.5. It's kind of weird because I can fit into a women's 9 and a 9.5 is too big sometimes. So my feet are kind of weird. I do have to wear men's. So my shoes are more expensive. I get most of my shoes um, for resale because I can never get retail prices. But I do not have as many shoes that go for resale. So I try to get as many for retail as I can. And I'll kind of go through and tell you about um, each and every one. But I'm not going to spend too much time on one shoe. So first up for the fours. These are my most recent cop. Y'all, I love these shoes so much and I was kind of hesitant to get a yellow shoe, but I literally don't have a yellow shoe in my collection. So I was like, why not? I should just go ahead and just get a yellow shoe. Y'all, I love these so much. These are probably like one of my favorite shoes in my collection. I probably won't wear these as often because one, they don't go with a lot of stuff, but I also feel like I don't want to mess them up or spill anything on them. So definitely going to keep these in the box for a while. I got these off of GOAT and these are in a men's size 8. Next are my black cats. I think I got these in 2020. I'm so glad I got them then because I think I got these for... 300 and y'all they go for like a thousand dollars now but they're a little like creased and messed up because these were my favorite fours for a while because they go with everything i got glitter on them i don't know how but kind of gave these a break because i didn't want to mess them up and since they run so high i know i can't get another pair of black cats so um this is what they look like i don't know i wouldn't say like top 10 because every shoe that i get is like my favorite so I don't know it's up there next are the retro four shimmers i love this shoe but i struggle with putting it together with other outfits i don't know why i just feel like i can't wear it with just white i, I just wish that they could go with like other nudes maybe i'm just not really good with like matching it but i feel like no nudes like match this but this shoe is definitely up there too i've probably only worn these like four times I love these. Side note, I only get shoes that I know I will wear for a long time. I feel like I don't just get shoes off of impulse. I know myself and I know what I'm going to wear. So I really want to have like a really diverse 
collection of shoes and excuse that like that's my closet trying to get like all my shoes out but I really want to have a diverse collection of shoes because I know years down the line like I want to wear these it's not just shoes just to collect but I actually want to wear these like years down the road and shoes that are kind of timeless so I'm just trying to keep that into mind next are Yeezys I have two Yeezys that I left at school and that's my Yeezy 700 there it's like blue I don't know if it's carbon blue I think it is carbon blue I have those at school and my Yeezy um 350 I don't know what they're called but they're all black and I got those back in 2019 here with me I have the Yeezy 700 these are a recent cop as well I love these I feel like they go with everything these are super 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 cute definitely going to be wearing these often i love these shoes next we're moving into new balance so the first shoe from new balance is these new balance 200 r's 2002 r's y'all i was definitely influenced by tiktok this year but these were too dope to like pass up on i have not worn these yet these are just like a beautiful shoe and i can see these as an everyday shoe for me i'm working on this year from sh to shop out of my own closet and make outfits with the shoes that i already have last year it was kind of challenging for me because i kind of turned to shopping as a way to cope which is really bad but like i cope with a lot of things that i just had going on mentally but this year I plan on really like styling a lot of the shoes that I have because I do have a lot of time with shoes so I definitely plan on doing that this year next I just want to take time to appreciate this box y'all like look at this box like solely off the box this shoe sold me just from the box and it says made for us y'all this shoe is just everything these are the Joe Fresh Goods um I think Penny Cookie Pink, and y'all, the shoe speaks for itself. I've worn these a few, quite a few times. Um, they're super comfortable. They're kind of bulky, but um, definitely see me wearing these for years to come because this is such, ooh, this is such a dope shoe. Like, I love this shoe, and it also comes with three other shoelaces as well. Lastly, in my New Balance collection are these 550s I think they're called Ole or Ule I don't know how you pronounce it but um, this is definitely one of my go-to shoes um, I love the nudes in it it matches with a lot of things you can wear with white browns I just feel like this is like the perfect shoe just for everyday wear um, especially like on campus and things like that so I love 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 this shoe now we're moving into nike like i said i have a couple of dunks that are still at school but i think i'm going to start with some of the dunks that i have here total i have six pairs of dunks three high top dunks and three lower top dunks or low top dunks personally i love high top dunks i feel like they're very versatile i feel like they kind of give the look of a one but they're not necessarily ones and then plus they're cheap the colorways are so dope like I love the colorways that the high top come in and just because that they're not ones it doesn't really matter to me I feel like I was able to get the orange the green and the pink and I just love the colorway first up are the Syracuse I think these are Syracuse high top dunks of these as you can see they definitely got their wear um, I've worn these of quite a few times I don't even know but um, I love this shoe it's nothing really more to say about it but it, like I said it kind of gives the look of a one but it's not necessarily the one so I love this next are these dunks I don't know exactly what they're called but I guess I consider these like pine green I don't know but these I always wanted the low dunks in this colorway but they were just way too expensive and I just feel like I wasn't going to pay that much money for um, a low top shoe when I could just get the high top ones for like $120 y'all. Like it's such a clean shoe and you can dress it up or dress it down. Definitely one of the top shoes in my collection. Next is the Dunk Prime Highs. I don't know if that's exactly what they're called but they're like high prime and this is like this hot pink color. 
and i just love the pink in these i feel like you can dress these up or dress them down definitely i, I say all of these shoes are like the top of my collection but like i said i literally love every shoe that i purchase it's a reason to why i pick out all of these shoes i feel like later on down the road like it can definitely match my personality and it also matches this i didn't even realize this this i could wear these together probably won't but I feel like this is a good summertime shoe, especially with the pink, and I feel like you can wear a lot of things with them, so, so yeah. This shoe everyone has, um, it's the Pandas. I wanted these, I actually got these so late in the game, and I got these because I felt like I needed a black and white shoe, y'all. I don't have any, like, black or white shoes. This shoe, you can, like, I can wear out with any outfit, especially if you have, like, a tough color that you literally can't wear with anything. I have, like, a mauve bodysuit and I have a uh, like I have like this blue color and I don't have any shoes to like necessarily like match it or go with it so I just feel like I needed a black and white shoe um, also an everyday shoe and these are the panda dunks everyone has these but I needed them in my collection because you can never go wrong with a black and white shoe these are definitely one of my favorite shoes y'all the Nike Sakai's I don't know what colorway this is but the orange and red just give everything and they're see-through through the toe you can't see it because the paper's still in them but y'all these shoes chef's kiss like for real these are so so cute y'all like I can't say anything else about the quality and the make of this shoe. I've wanted a pair of Sakai's for so long. So when I finally got a pair, y'all, y'all know I had to act up because I love Sakai's. I just love the way that they look. And yeah, they come with extra shoelaces, I think red, but I kind of kept mine the same way. But like I said, I'm definitely going to start dressing my shoes a lot more because I don't know, just taking more pictures in general because I just don't. I need to this next shoe I don't wear as often as I should I really don't like Air Forces which is why I don't wear them but there are these Nike Air Forces 2020 I got these right before I was about to go back to school because I wanted a pair of shoes I just really don't like how they look on my feet with certain outfits but I also haven't had the opportunity to really dress them and I probably will this upcoming year um, and I kind of like it because 2020 was such a hard time for all of us, but I feel like it's such a memorable shoe. So it kind of reminds you of like 2020, so I'm not going to get rid of them, but this is what they look like. They're such a beautiful shoe on camera. I just don't wear them as often as, as I should. And I'm going to start by like unlacing them. I feel like I shouldn't even have them laced like that. So, all right, y'all. So I had to do a quick break because my camera overheated. I have a, a lot more Nikes. This isn't even all of them that are here. And y'all, quite honestly, I don't know the names to all of these. So I'm just going to try the best that I can. These are one of my go-to shoes. I got these like my freshman year in college. They're super cute. I wear these often. And if you can see, like they're kind of dirty, honestly, y'all. But I wear these all the time. I got these in high school and they're like all reflective and they actually re-released these this year um they're super dirty because i wore them like all the time i'm definitely going to get back into wearing these because this is a dope shoe for real so like i said i'm going to be shopping out of my closet so i think that this would be a super cool shoe to wear next are blazers y'all i feel like you're not a sneakerhead if you don't have a pair of blazers um Blazers are definitely just a good go-to shoe. I can wear these for like work events. I kind of wear these a lot in like like formal settings. I feel like you can wear these formally, so I love these. So y'all know I had to double it. Like <laughs> I got the blazer, um, the low blazer, super cute shoe. Next are these. I I think these are called the DMS. X, y'all, I really don't know the name of this shoe, but they're fire. Love them. These are the same. These are similar. I work out in these, but um, I guess they resemble each other in a way, but I got these. I really don't really like these shoes that much because they, first of all, I got stuff on them, but they're super, super thin, and 
I don't know I'm just not really feeling them like that but next are another variation of the 270s um these are a pretty cool shoe I do not wear these as often I've got these and I probably wore them well I think I wore them a quite a amount of times like when I actually got them but I don't wear them as often now but they're see-through and they're like cute for the summer so I might bring these back out again Next are Vapor Max. Are you really a sneakerhead if you don't have a pair of Vapor Max? Okay, y'all. So my camera ran out of storage on um, the SD card, so I'm finishing out on my phone. But like I said, if you don't have Vapor Max, then what are you doing? So I have two pairs of Vapor Max as well. The last shoes that I want to include in my sneaker collection are Converse. First, starting out with these Converse people didn't really like this shoe but i feel like you could wear them with a lot of things they're very versatile i see me wearing these a lot more in the summertime definitely a shoe that i'm going to keep around for a while next people call these overrated but i don't care this is like one of my like ultimate favorite shoes the Come de garçon i don't know if i can pronounce that correctly but it's these and i had to triple it y'all Actually, I have five pairs of these, y'all, because I have two more at school. I have the lime green pair, and I have the white pair with the hearts. I wear these, like, every day. I got the blue pair, and I got the black pair, y'all. I got these in a size 8. Definitely my favorite shoes. I wear these, like, every day, like clockwork. That's why I have so many, because, like, if I didn't, y'all be wearing the same shoe, like, every day for real. Like, I love these shoes so much. Like, I love them. My most worn pair is probably these. Um, they have probably have a lot more wear and tear because uh, I just love them. I love them so much. These are probably like my least worn. And these are like my second most worn because they kind of go with everything. I've been into gray a lot here lately. Yes, definitely. These are my like literal, literal. These are my literal everyday shoes. You will see me wearing these at least like twice a week. That's all for the shoe collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I was going to do Uggs, but I might have to do that in a part two or just a separate video in general. Because y'all, if I could wear Uggs every day of the year, I definitely would. So Uggs probably need like a whole separate video. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you